hi well welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video today i'm just going to give you a bit of a stockpile tour of my stockpile pantry um this is out this is situated out in our laundry so um you know i just wanted to show you where i'm sort of at with it all now and um yeah just go through each thing obviously i would like to sort of stockpile a lot more items not too many but just a few other things and um yeah i'll show you what i've got in here and hopefully it can give you some ideas if you're looking at starting your own stockpile cupboard. Okay, I'm just going to start at the top here. At the top here, I've just got biscuits, um, uh, some pastas, some breads and things like that. This cupboard is quite large, but it's hard to sort of arrange it the way I want to do it. So I do need to fix a few things up in here and organize it a bit better. But at the moment, it's okay and it's doing the job. So at the back here, I've just got some um, pasta. I managed to get like some San Remo pasta when I couldn't get much else. So we've got three bags of pasta there and I've also just got some spaghetti. Usually I would just buy the home brand one, well the Aldi one, or a cheaper pasta, but that was the one at the time and San Remo is nice pasta as well. Um, I do like to have some pasta. I don't think our family eat a lot of pasta, but it is really good to have as a stockpile item um, for various reasons. Like, you know, you can put, you can make it with vegetables, you can make it with meat. There's lots of cheap ways you can make family meals with pasta. So it's always good to have a few bags in a stockpile pantry if it's something that you eat a lot of. There's no use buying things if you, if your family or yourself don't eat them. Okay, um, at the top here, I've just got this rack in here at the moment. That's obviously another pasta thing. I've just got some biscuits. I do like to have some savoury biscuits. I do like these eaten ones from Aldi. I think they're really nice. They're not really hard and too hard for the kids to eat. We do like jats and things like that, but these are a lot cheaper. I think they're about $1.39 a packet, so I do like to stock up on those biscuits, and that's something that I will manage to get a few packets of because it's just something that we eat a lot of with gherkins and cheese and things like that. I've just got some sakatars there. I've got some of those chocolate mini rolls and things like that. So I've just got a couple little treats in there. I don't stockpile a great deal of treats um, simply because our family, the kids, even myself, will get into it and eat it if it's in the house. Like there's no use me stockpiling blocks of chocolate because I will eat that. I really enjoy eating that and it's not something that I want to stockpile up on. It's something I really, really enjoy because I know that I'll eat it and the kids will just come out here and eat anything. When, he, when the kids come out here at the moment, they sort of look at this area here because they can't see above their head and they're like, oh, boring cans. But you know, if I put a few little items up here that I can put in their lunch boxes or as a treat, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, so I've just got some premiums there because they're really good because I've got, they come in like portion packs and I like to have them, you can pop them in your handbag or take them out with you. Um, just an easy, simple cracker and also um, the water crackers because they're always good to have if you're sick, someone in the house is sick, just some plain like sayos or water crackers. So I always sort of think of that sort of thing as well when I'm stockpiling. Um, if you can't get to the shops, especially lately with everything going on, it's happening more and more and people are starting to stockpile more now than ever because I think we've been burnt too many times with so many things over the last three years that it's, you know, we're scared that we're not going to be able to feed our families and things like that. So this is why I think everyone's getting now into stockpiling and it's not a bad thing, you know, to do because you are, you're just doing what you have to do for your family. So um, yeah, so I've just got, obviously, pop, the coloured popcorns from Christmas here. I don't think they're even going to eat that, but I might give them to them one night with a movie. Now, with this bread, um, same thing with mission breads and things like that. I'm not sure how long the mission breads got on them, but I bought this yesterday because um, I thought breads is a great thing to stockpile up on, but it's hard to stockpile up on bread because it goes mouldy and it goes off quite quickly. But if you can eat this straight. You can eat it with dinner. It can, you know, you've got you've got bread there. This has got about four months on this. It's best before the 18th of the 7th of this year. So you've got four months. I've got four months on this bread to stockpile up on. And I think that's just great. So these are great stockpile items in your house for a bread backup. Even like at lunchtime, if you don't have anything for the kids' lunches, such as loaves of bread, you're not going out to the shop to spend more money. You can always you can always make them a wrap 
or something like that. So these are $2 a packet at Aldi. So I'm thinking of going in there and buying a few packets because this is something we eat a lot of. Mainly with bakes and things like that we eat them. But so good if you don't have any bread in the house. And it stops you from going out and spending $100 when you just need to get um, a couple of loaves of bread. Okay, um, I am thinking of doing, um, I am thinking of putting an area in this cupboard for, you know, paper plates and spoons and forks and things like that. So I just picked up them the other day um, from Kmart for $2, but I would like to make an area for that because I have got so many serviettes and things like that that I find that they're just chucked in the cupboard at the moment. So I need to make an area for that somewhere. Um, they're just pretzels. They're good to buy from, from Aldi. I just got a packet of pretzels. I do like to have pretzels in the house also for reasons like for snacks, for visitors. And also if you're not feeling well, it's a good salty treat or it's a good salty sort of biscuit when you're not feeling that good. But this is a great pack from Aldi. Um, I think they're about $2 or something a packet and it's really good to have. It's handy when you have visitors come over with some cheese or salami. Okay, now with breakfast cereals, I don't like to stockpile up on a lot of it, breakfast cereals. The kids, every time we go to the shops, the kids just want to get cereal. But it can add up quite easily and, they go, and it goes stale so quickly. So I'm just trying to stockpile up on maybe maybe a box of cereal and the rest is just um, things like oatmeal and wheat bix. And these are things that we go through quite quickly. Um, so, you know, and wheat bix are cheap. This was on special the other day, so I picked up that when it's on special. At full price, it's a lot more money. So if you can stockpile up when, when there's specials on, it's really worth it. And at the back there, I've just got some um, some popcorn and obviously some parmesan cheese there. Um, probably put the parmesan cheese down the bottom here, so I sort of can see where that's at. So there's still a little bit more room up here, but oh, jelly. Sorry, I've got jelly here now. Um, jelly is another thing that I like to stockpile up on. I've said it numerous times in my videos for for the family when they're sick. We do like jelly and ice cream and jelly and custard for desserts as well, but this is just. A great staple to have in the house you know and it gives the kids energy when they're not feeling well and I think jelly is just something that you, you that you do need to have a few packets of in your stockpile cupboard if it's something that you like to eat no use stocking up on it if you hate jelly like my husband hates jelly really hates it um, so this is not for him I've just got some of these ready to eat jellies if you can get them on special for a dollar each that's really good they're so handy because like I said if you are sick you want a jelly straight away. It can take up to two, three hours to make a jelly, to make it set. This way, the kids are sick, got a cold, don't feel like eating anything else. I can just grab that out of the pantry. It doesn't even need to be put in the fridge. Sometimes I give it to my youngest for his lunchbox. It doesn't even have to be put in the fridge and he can just eat it. So yeah, I do like to get them when they're only around about a dollar each is when I get them and not too many, just a few. So now this is the can area. Um, I have been stockpiling a little bit here and there just you know if we go to the shops to pick up a couple, a couple of cans of apples or anything like that just things that I know that we eat a lot of and I can make family meals out of like I said there's no use buying things if you're not if you don't like them or if you don't like eating say apples and you don't want them there's no use stockpiling them because you'll never eat them and you'll just waste them now I probably do have to go through some of these cans now and see which ones, like even though it's only been about six months since they've been in here, I do need to bring a few through, bring a few to my other pantry and um, see which ones I need to eat because I know there's a condensed milk in there. I think I've got about three months left on that to use so I will be bringing that into my other pantry. Okay, so we've just basically got the simple basic things here and that's what I want to stay with. Um, okay, so I've got some sweetened condensed milk because this is great as a standby for milk for desserts if you've got no milk in the house you can use condensed milk um you can use it for traveling sometimes we used to put it into jars and put it in like a little um cooler bag with an ice block or something like that an ice pack to make it cool once it's opened and put it in coffees while you're traveling and things like that it is a great staple in your pantry um i do have soups i would like to stock up on more soups but it's just not the time at the moment it, things are starting to come together with the shops now and they're getting more food in and once they i can get good specials on the soups i will i only like spending around about two dollars on the country ladle so i've just got some chicken noodle because the kids like that some beef for my husband i think i've got yeah, just some chicken noodle and stuff just the simple stuff in there and that's something that i would like to get probably 10 cans of 
to have in the cupboard at all times. Um, I did pick up some of that Campbell's sauce. Um, sometimes I used to have this when I was younger and you know we just used to see it as a bit of a treat. We'd have it on pasta and mum would put some zucchini in it or something like that. Um, you can get the big cans. I think it's Legos that have the big cans but this is just the Campbell's one. If you like that sort of food and you find it quick and easy it is quick and easy and with your family you can just pour it on even friday night the other night i just thought that looks so easy i can just grab that warm it up and put it on some pasta you know it's not going to hurt them for the night they've been eating vegetables all week and fruit you know and it's good food so yeah i got a couple of cans of that um okay with beans and things now i have got a few cans of beans two people in my house don't like beans so it's a hard one and because they don't eat them, sometimes I don't eat them. But, you know, I really like making chilies and things like that out of it. And it's so good because if you just don't want to eat meat, sometimes you've got something else. Um, the refried beans at the back here are really good for like enchiladas and dips and things like that. So I've just got a can of that as well. I think my mum gave me that the other day. Um, there's lots of canned spaghettis because we love canned spaghetti. Canned baked beans, um, just a couple of cans there and canned tomatoes now canned tomatoes is something that we go through so quickly if you would have seen my recent haul i've bought these in um that haul that shopping haul and i've talked about how this time i'm just going to buy the big can for eight eight hundred grams i think it's about dollar eighty or dollar fifty sorry it's a dollar fifty a can instead of around about 88 cents something like that if you can get canned tomatoes cheaper than that for 400 grams and that's great but sometimes it's probably cheaper to buy the big can oh, you nearly use it two cans anyway half the time there are lots of smaller cans in the back there but you know diced tomatoes so good and even um the whole tomatoes if you can get the whole tomatoes in the can they are brilliant on toast with butter and pepper and salt for breakfast i used to have that sometimes when i was in high school and i always remember it was always a really nice breakfast so yeah i ha used to have that okay i've got some asparagus we've already gone through one one can since the haul a few days back but love asparagus and it's such a good staple if you like it because i find with the fresh one there's so much waste on it now it's like you know you snap off the end bits it's like bamboo some of it and the kids can't eat it and there's only really one child that doesn't like it in my house i just squish it down with a fork on some toast with some pepper and salt and i love that and it feeds all of us for breakfast or for a quick lunch okay apples and fruits and things like that now this is something that i like to stock up on along with the spaghettis and the soups i find these are a real necessity to have even over the past month with everything going on they haven't had many peaches and that in stock i just found it's just such a quick and easy dessert or i can just make an apple crumble with it which i did make in one of my freezer videos the other day and um i've even been using a can of tom a can of peaches the smaller cans cutting them up and putting them into my kids lunch boxes for school if i couldn't get any fruit which is what happened about a month back or less few weeks ago where you couldn't get any fruit but I did have some peaches and things like that so I just chopped them up and put them in their lunchbox and they're having something um same thing with the apple slices so good for pies and ap apple cakes anything like that pineapple slices and I've also got some crushed pineapple in the back there we don't eat a lot of pineapple but you know it's good to have for chicken um dishes I do make a really nice pineapple pie and I do want to do that soon so I've got that can in there for that and salmons and tuna so we're a house that do eat salmon and tuna no use buying it if you don't like it but um we do go through it quite quickly my son will come home from school and have a can of of tuna and so will my youngest but you know i just like to stockpile up on that sometimes they're a dollar a can the other day the salmons were on special so they're really good you know so i got that um okay also got the red salmon from aldi i dropped in there the other day and just got the premium red one this is five dollars a can but i love that on toast and if you're someone that does like canned salmons or tuna or something like that um salmon on toast with pepper and salt is such a good dinner at night time i find and it's so easy if the kids are just having like something easy like some nuggets i can just make myself and my husband a piece of toast with salmon on it and pepper and salt and um yeah and i feel like I've eaten something good as well and I sometimes will have that for lunch but not often because it is five dollars a can but you know I really do enjoy having a can or two of that in the house 
Okay, um, got some oysters in the back there. Obviously baked beans in the back. I've got a stash of them. Now with the sauces, um, I did manage to get the big bottles of sauce the other day. I think they were three something, three dollars fifty, something like that for two liters. So I grabbed a barbecue and I grabbed a tomato sauce. End up buying the bottles too often, and it works out dearer. Even though I do have a squeezy one in here which I might even use for the barbecue once that one's used because I don't have a barbecue squeezy sauce bottle. Might wash that one out when I've used it and use it for the barbecue. Um, I've got some pasta sauces. That's another thing I do need to stock up on. I've just got the big ones there, which are really nice. I find this one like a sweeter one. It's quite cheap. Um, just some bolognese sauces. I do need to stockpile up on that. I've got some Worcestershire. That's something that our family goes through quite quickly. Same thing with soy sauce. Now cheeses. It's so good to be able to stockpile up on a cheese. I've got cream cheese spread here because that's a great thing. You can make sauces out of that, dressings, um, sandwiches, anything like that to have if you can't get cheese. And it's the same thing at the back there. I've got the Dairy Lee cheddar. Um, always, I always have a few blocks of that. I'm down a block at the moment, but I've got a big block. This is a 500 grams. If you can't have, to go, if you run out of cheese, you've got no cheese, always great to have a block of that in the house. And it stays in the cupboard. I'll tell you the, I've got till July. So, you know, there's been a few months on that already. So that's really good. And so there I've just got a few things of cheese, you know, that I've got in case I run low. I've got olives, so because we eat a lot of olives. Um, now, same thing with lemon. We've got a lemon tree and it's finally producing lemons after all these years. And I have been using up the lemons and freezing them. But this is so good to have, you know, if you can't get lemons at the shop or they're too expensive, which they have been. It's 99.9% .9 juice. It's not a real lemon, but if you need it for a lemon drink with some honey or you want it for a dressing, sometimes I just squirt it on the kids' apples or fruit salad at school so they don't go brown. And I find it just easier than me chopping up a lemon or going and buying a, a lemon specially for that. And I think this is about $1.50 for 500 ml. And we put it with um, soda water and water, things like that. Okay, Parmesan cheese. We don't eat a great deal of that, so I'm only got, I've only got one bag. I um, do need to buy some more tomato paste. And things like the dry soup mixes, I do like to have on hand so I've only got one French onion soup here but I, I would like to buy a few more of them okay the canned vegetables um I would like to start buying a few more canned vegetables I've only got peas in the cupboard at the moment but these are so good to have like canned carrots and beans and things like that you know so that's another thing I do need to get I've got chickpeas in there just a small can because I'm more likely to eat them instead of opening up a huge can Okay, so I do have some salsas. This is another thing I do like to stock up on and probably I will buy maybe five or six of these to have because we use it in everything lately. It's just one of those things that I like canned tomatoes. And if you can't get um, onion or you can't get capsicum or you just want to flavor your meat, the, salsa, the salsa is the way to go because, you know, capsicums are expensive, you know, and sometimes onions are expensive for people who can't, you know, I afford them. Sometimes they've been three dollars a kilo lately for onions. This is like a dollar sixty. You know, if you just want to flavour something really quickly, or you just want to go to a barbecue and grab some salsa and grab a packet of premium biscuits or some of those ones from Aldi. You know, you've got a quick, you know, little thing to take to someone's house. I think a dollar sixty a can, so they're well worth it. Um, now, leg ham. Meat's one of those things that's hard to um, put in the pantry. But, you know, if you that's if you don't like salmon or you don't like um, tuna. But leg ham, you can buy this one when it's on special. I think this sometimes goes on special for around about for around about $4.75, and that's when I buy it. So I've just got one can that of that there. And, um, yeah, if you don't have any meat and one night you need something, maybe you want to make an omelette for dinner, you know, you've got a can of leg ham there. It's always good if it's something that you like to eat. I know some people don't like ham, and I'm I'm really fussy with can in, with ham in a can as well. But I do like just the leg ham one, and this one is a nice brand. I've got noodles here because our kids love noodles, so that's one thing I do need to stock up on. But my kids do not like more or less the home brand ones, so I have to get the Maggi ones. I have been I have tried to trick them a few times. Well, it's my oldest boy that knows that there's a difference in the taste. My youngest doesn't, but 
Um, yeah, I do have to try and trick him sometimes to get the... Because these sometimes are $4 a packet. If you can get the other ones, they're like a dollar a packet or something like that. You know, so there is a big difference. But, you know, maybe if I put the cheaper ones in a stir fry, he'll eat them. So moving down now to um, the drink area and milks and things like that. Now I have been trying to stock up, well lately we did buy some more UHT milk when we couldn't get other milk. I do like stocking up on the UHT milk, such a good standby. I've probably got more light milk than anything else because I like the light milk, but I have got some full cream milk at the back there. So I do need to grab some more full cream milks, but I have got another big two liters of the skim milk as well. So um, I've got five of the lights plus the big skim milk and three of the full cream milks. And I've also got um, a, a big powder at the back here, which I do have to um, have soon. It's got till the 10th of August on it. So I find if you don't open it when it's spo you're supposed to, it can get really chunky and congealed. And yeah, you do need to eat it before the, before the due date on the powdered milk. Custards and things like that. I'm sort of down a little bit. We have been eating a little bit of the custard, but these are great, these cupboard custards. And I like the taste of them. They taste really nice. And I've also got a powdered custard. So good to have powdered custard and some UHT custard. Um, always the kids are always wanting a dessert. So it's so quick. And if you want to just make, you know, something really easy with it, fruit, whatever, you've got it there. With the juices, I don't try and buy too much juice. Um, but we've just got a golden circle um, tropical punch there. And when they're on special at the back there, the V8s, I do like to get the green one, but at the moment I've got the tropical. So just a couple of bottles of juice and that's it. Um, I've got just the water filters there. I do have to think of another way with the water filter situation. I might even end up buying a bigger system because I find that the one we've got is too small and we're going, we're filling it up like three times a day lately. Okay, I've got the soft drink. These soft drinks are really for when people, when we're sick. I've just got some dry ginger ale and some lemonade. This is in case you're sick and you don't want to go to the shops or you can't even, you know, you're not well enough to go to the shops. You've always got lemonade. I've always got lemonade and ginger ale. Same thing with hydrolytes and things like that. I do like to have that in the cupboard. It's got some whipping cream. Tried it the other day. It didn't really work because I didn't leave it in the fridge long enough. You have to put it in the fridge for the day before for it to whip. So I'm thinking of getting, um, these are good, but I'm thinking of also getting the canned cream to put in the pantry. I've just got some sim like just some simple items like some raw sugar because that's what we have. I've got some white sugar. I've got some um, self-raising flour. I do need to get some more plain. Um, I've got coconut. I've got some cake mixes in there. So I think I bought this ages ago to make Play-Doh, but it's good to have. I find, you know, if you go to a barbecue and you need to clean the barbecues off, you know, you can take that with you but I just got a bag of it I think it was for play-doh because I usually buy ally I usually buy iodized salt but I got that um in there in case I've also got some of this fresh yogurt it's good to have as well I only get it when it's on special a lot of my lovely subscribers lately have been giving me different recipes for yogurt so I am going to try that I really am looking forward to trying those yogurts with my easy yo and here I've just got some cake mixes because you always need these I guess with the kids I've just got some two, two chocolate ones and some vanilla cake mix as well. With the oil, I just got the big can the other day and I thought this is so much easier. I just refill my little spray bottle in, in, the other, in the kitchen area and I've just got a big can of it. Sometimes I used to buy the Spanish one. It was on special, I think four liters for about $25. This is a nice oil. I got that on special as well, but you know, we don't get through a lot of oil, but it's handy to have. So I just buy it like bulk wise like that now. And we've just got some juice boxes, or poppers is what I call them. Uh, I've got some Aldi ones, and just some of these, um, they're both from Aldi. Now this one's from Woolworths. Just some of the milks, the strawberry milk, and I've also got a chocolate Woolworths milk. And the kids usually have them on a Thursday and Friday in their lunch boxes as a, as a bit of a treat. Or if they get a lunch order, which is very rarely, I'll get them a sausage roll at school or some nuggets. Instead of them going, Mum, can I have the $3 milk to go with it? I just give them one of these and it works out so much cheaper. And it's the same thing. And these are a good size because they're only 200 mil. Anything bigger 
and I think it just gives them, you know, it just fills up their stomach too much. Sorry about that, I'm back again. That's our pantry, that's our stockpile pantry at the moment. Um, I do just get a few things now and then. I have been doing this for a few months now, so you know, I haven't rushed out and just spent lots and lots of money on stockpiling. This has taken a little while to do. And even if you just put a little bit of money aside and spend a little bit now and then and just wait for the specials because they do come on like maybe once a month or maybe once a year sometimes with certain things. It is worthwhile to wait for those specials unless you need it now. But um, this is what the whole idea of the stockpile cupboard is so that you don't have to rush out and get something if you don't have it. You've got it here or you can make do and just, bought, just work with what you've got basically. So um, I'm pretty happy with what I've got so far. The only thing I would like to would like to sort of get is maybe through the floods. My mother-in-law had a terrible time through the floods, and she had no water for days. And I was thinking, you know, the same thing before all that started is that I would like to stockpile up on some water for the family just in case. Um, maybe just 10 liters for the family. Before you do go through a lot of water. But um, I would like to start a little bit of a stockpile with water. It is something that you need if there's something wrong with your plumbing, if you can't get water at the shops, if there's some dilemma where there's floods and you can't get out. So that is something that I would like to stockpile up on. Other than that, um, I'm sort of happy with what I've got so far. I'm sure there's so many other things that do tweak to me and go, I want to get some of that as well. But I'll show you what we've got in my other little pantry here, and this is more or less the household thing. So this is my um, other area next to my pantry, and it's just for household items. I've just got um, some storage bags in there, and some cleaning items. Um, I do need to get my husband to make another another shelf down the bottom there. I've got bag. I've just got a heap of bags down there, shopping bags. Okay, so um, storage bags. I picked up these from Aldi the other day. I think they were $10 for 250 And I thought that's just easy. It's like a year's supply of bags or more. Um, it's just a hassle buying them all the time, I find. Same thing with domestic wipes. I've just got some of them in here. I've got some, like, scourers. Either these ones or another brand, whatever I pick up at the time. Uh, I've got some Dettol because I couldn't get Pino clean the other day, so I just got... Death hole as a standby. Always got bicarb and vinegar, glad bags, and just some antibacterial spray. Same thing with scarers, some more scarers in there. Other than that, the only thing I really would like to have in there as well is maybe um, some more sponges. And I've just got some more clip seal bags because they are in there from last time before I bought these. And some dishwashing detergent is something that I probably will like to stock up on more in here. Okay, in this area here, we've just got toilet paper. So, um, Aldi the other day picked up the big one of this for about $12 for Alpha. We don't go through as much cling wrap, um, but it was tempting because they had the huge big cling wrap container like box at Aldi. So, I am thinking about it just to sort of have for the year because I find Glad Wrap, cling wrap, bags those sort of things it's just something that I'd rather just have for the year and not have to think about buying every week or so but I'll think about that um toilet paper yep got that and the same thing here I picked up the big thing of bags because we go through bags in a family of four quite quickly and it's something I always forget on my grocery shop and then we don't have any so this time I just thought just buy a big pack for a hundred hundred pack for ten dollars and it's done um, tissues, I do have heaps more tissues in my bathroom, but um, I need to get my husband to put another shelf just down here so I can just do toiletry items or maybe move all this down there like the toilet paper and put the toiletry items there like toothpastes and tissues and things like that. And I've just got a packet of um, disposable gloves. I do like to have them. I do like to have the other gloves as well. I have used and opened a packet of rubber gloves. I do need to buy some more of them. So when it comes to sprays, I usually just use um, a spray and wipe. This time I'm just sticking to one spray at a time because I just don't want numerous sprays in the pan in the cupboard taking up room. So I use one at a time and I think I'm just using the Aldi one at the moment. Once that's gone, I'll get a spray and wipe or a different brand and then use that. So that's how I'm um, a pantry there. Um, I do have lots of room down the bottom there. I've got the kids toys down there. I'm probably gonna move that chest out and I can expand the pantry if I wanted to. But I, I just think we've got enough in there at the moment. 
like there's enough food in there. I've and right next to it, I've just got a chest freezer, which is really, really handy, which I do need to stock up on a few items in that. But, you know, like, um, other than canned foods and things like that, I think I'm getting there with the stockpile cupboard. And um, the only thing I really do want to focus on is the water situation. I'm not sure if it's better off to buy them, you know, with the tap on them. I don't want to buy too many bottles and have, like, heaps of bottles around the house because that sort of annoys me when you've got those big packs of bottles and everyone just drinks them and leaves them everywhere and it's a waste of plastic as well I don't really want to do that it's really just for stockpiling purposes or for an emergency so I might just buy maybe the container with the tap on it or maybe just the big single huge bottles of water just to have in there for emergencies um, the only other thing is we do have soda water a lot but we've got our soda stream filled up so usually I would have some soda water in there as well but other than that, that's our stockpile video today. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Um, I hope you, I hope you, I hope that you've enjoyed this video today, and it's given you some ideas. And maybe if you want to stockpile, and maybe if you want to start a stockpile cupboard as well, this might give you some ideas on where to start. Um, just start small first, maybe. And if you don't have a big pantry like this, that's fine as well. You know, I never used to. I've just used our linen cupboard that I really wasn't happy with. So I'm out in the laundry with the linen cupboard. This is what I'm using. Um, and just starting a little bit here and there. And if you write a list... I was going to say, so if you, write, if you write a list of things that you buy and you eat all the time, you'll probably find that there's not a great deal of things that you do need to stockpile on. It's really overwhelming when you go to the shop and you see every muesli bar and every bag of chips and every shampoo and conditioner. But when you stick to certain things, you will find out that there's not a great deal of things that you do need to stockpile up on. You know, like I am trying to just keep it simple. I don't want to buy like stacks of chocolates and lollies and things like that that, that the kids are going to eat. Buy things that are survival foods more than anything. Um, and then you won't eat them. And But you will eat them in an emergency, if you know what I mean. Like, um, you know, instead of buying, you know, chocolate biscuits, maybe buy the plain Arnott's biscuits to stock up on or the Arrowroot biscuits. So then you have got a biscuit in case of an emergency or in case you've got some visitors come over or anything like that but you will find that there's not a great deal of things that you do need that you regularly buy you will just sort of make it simple if you do write a list and you'll find out that it's oh, okay it might be just some canned tomatoes and it might be you might like to buy the taco packets which are good to stock up on um or anything like that and then you'll figure out that you know the things that you do eat and that your family does eat a lot of it's very hard to sort of you've got to sort of pull back the reins on buying everything and stockpiling up on it because you'll never get through the things in your cupboard that way and you will just eat the things all day because they're in the house unless you're really disciplined which if you're disciplined that's great because I'm definitely not disciplined when it comes to chocolates and lollies and things like that and my kids aren't either so um yeah I've just tried to keep it as simple as possible um, and try and keep it out of the kids sight as much as possible but other than that that's our stockpile video today and I hope you've really enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video in the next few days thanks everyone bye